Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to my all new Star Citizen beginner series based on the many changes in Alpha version 3.15. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And if this video convinces you to become a Star Citizen, please consider using my referral code, link in the video description below, and you'll be rewarded with an extra 5,000 in-game credits to help you get started in the verse. Next, feel free to head on over to my Discord, where you'll find me and many other Star Citizens who are willing to help answer any questions you might have. Oh yeah, the Discord link's down in the video description too. Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another Star Citizen Beginner Basics uh, episode. Uh, we are on 3.16, but 3.17 is quickly approaching. So uh, it's still the end of March. I think today's like the 27th, March 27th, 2020. Um, and I'm expecting, you know, 3.17 to probably drop within the next two weeks or so. Um, out to the live servers, but um, I thought I'd come back in because I've gotten really good at doing a specific mission type, um, and uh, we're gonna—I'm gonna share that with you. So early on in the game, if you don't want to go and do dogfighting and you want to do some more first-person shooter kind of stuff, we'll gear yourself up a little bit, get yourself a, a gun that you're familiar with, plenty of ammo like I've got across my belt there, and make sure you've got your um, med pens like I've got there on my left leg. You can see them there in red. And um, I don't have too much special armor on, but I have a little bit. I'm gonna hit my I key. I'm gonna see what I've got in my backpack. Nothing there really. So um, what I'm gonna need to do is nothing because we're gonna hopefully get this mission here. And hopefully it's still here. What you're going to want to look for, and, and typically these pop um, around Microtech and around Area 18, or actually Art Corp is the planet, is the Urgent Boarding Action in Progress mission. And this is actually uh, going to be an 890 jump. Uh, here we go. Now... now Yep, so an executive client just informed us that their 890 jump has been intercepted at Microtech and boarded by outlaws. So basically, we're going to have to go in and take out those outlaws. However, your first priority will be to clear all outlaws as quickly as possible so that a recovery team can be dispatched to, to return the ship to the owner. Um, the longer the outlaws have control of the vessel, the higher the chance it will be lost. Uh, let's see here. and But there's actually a more important part of this mission. Um, secondly, if at all possible, the client is very interested in preventing the theft of the aforementioned data. And you can go and read through this if you wish. Um, if you are able to stop the theft of their confidential data stores before they are transmitted, a generous bonus will be issued. Um, the way I approach these uh, 890 jump missions is get to the data first, then worry about taking out the rest of the outlaws. So let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't even accept that mission, did I? No, I did not. Uh, so a couple things. We are going to want the boarding action in progress. I am going to also accept a call to arms because there are going to be some ships that uh, we're going to be coming up against. And um, we're going to be taking them on in our lowly little Aurora MR, which hopefully I will be able to... Uh, <laughs> to to uh, fight off these ships. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so we go to pad number two. All right. And here we are, 
Uh, on Port Tressler. Enter the ship. And again, just holding F to get the menu to pop up. Same here, F, give me my seat. There we go, enter pilot seat. All right, so looking around the cockpit, everything is good. Hit the I key to bring my engines online since I just shut them down from the last episode. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna hit F2. We're gonna bring up our navigation map. And where is the 890 mission? Oh, it's 803 kilometers away. Like I can just tilt my head down there and look right down at it. Um, let's go ahead and take off. I don't know. Oh, good. It's a straight shot over there, so we don't have to worry about navigation too much. This is pretty rare. A lot of times it'll be on the opposite side of the planet. That'll make it a little bit more difficult to get um, to, get to, but not too bad. Uh, we're going to turn our gimbal mode on, and why... Uh-oh. Why are we having these problems? <gasps> I know why. Oh! Ow! There we go. <laughs> I had my joysticks plugged in. Uh-oh. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're actually in atmosphere right now. Look at that. 99,000. Oh, now we're out. So we're, I'm kind of surprised that we don't have any ships in the area right now. There's the 890 jump. Yep, this is gonna be, whoops, not the ship we want. This right here, the Cuddy Black, he's gonna turn red and we're gonna need to take him out. Um, usually he's flying around. Okay, there he just, somebody just targeted me. There he goes. Uh-oh, hit H, H. Okay, whew. Had to get those, um, those countermeasures. Boy, we are getting a lot of radar contacts now. Okay, one enemy is down. Okay, where's the other one? Okay, we got another Cuddy Black. Now, these guys are no joke. Especially um, for a small fighter ship. Now, they are kind of a little bit slower to turn. So if you can stay here on their belly. And I'm literally just hitting the A key to kind of strafe. Now I'm kind of pushing forward a little bit. Um, but I'm basically just trying to stay on his belly super easy. All right, so we got those two guys. We also got um, awarded the 1,500 credits there. I think we got 1,500 for the first one as well, or maybe something close. There's also this 300i out here. Um, I'm not exactly sure why this is here. I do not know. It's not a... I, I typically see it as part of this mission. I think it's actually supposed to be in the hangar bay here. So we've got the hangar bay down there, but I don't want to go in there. You you could technically go in there, though you might die, so you gotta be kind of careful. Um, I'm gonna just try to make sure right here in the center that I zero out any momentum. I'm leaving the engines on. We're gonna get out of our seat. And we're gonna exit out. We wanna go right over here to this door. That's the um, starboard. Oh, looks like one of the crew took out one of the hostels there. That's good. 
But as soon as we get on board, we're gonna you're gonna start seeing a counter tick down. And I'm gonna get my gun out here. And we're gonna have a limited amount of time. Okay, there there we go. We got four minutes to get in here and get the um, get the data stopped. Generally, they're in the bedrooms or on the bridge, and you want to kind of look around this, you know, kind of screen area here. Um, so there's not one there. We're going to run across here. And there's guys shooting upstairs. Nope, he's not there. Next, we can go up to the next level. Now, these are all the bad guys, but they can't shoot through glass. So let's move up here. Come on. Oh, we got some guys in the bar area. Let's see here. Nope. Okay, a minute has elapsed. And, okay. They are not there. Um, let's try to move our way up. Ow. Just stand up, I dare ya. Okay, I think we've got everybody up here. Let's head on up to the bridge. We're gonna continue looking for the, uh, the data miner. Ooh, he's not on the bridge either, uh-oh. That means it's in a new location, and I might not know where it is, oh no. Okay, we got, we got a guy here. We're going to check the captain's quarters in the back. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Not seeing anything here. Okay, not seeing anything in here. This is not good. Come on. Open up. All right. Time is of the essence. I don't think it's going to be up here anywhere. Though it could be. I've not seen one up in this area. Ever. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a ha hamburger. All right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, hangar. Come on, baby. Let's get down there. This is not good because I'm not seeing the data. Yeah, we're not going to be able to halt the data transmission in time. Um, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ow, ow, ow. Don't shoot me. Well, this will be interesting to to. See if we can figure out where the uh, the terminal was. Oh, there it is, right there. Darn it. So that's what it looks like. And we can try to do another one of these um, once we're done with this one. Yep. And all the other guys... 
I would say, of course, I, I do it this time, and it's in a new location where I haven't seen it before. Nine out of ten times, it's in one of those first four bedrooms um, or on the bridge. Like, I, I'm not even joking. I've done this mission so many times recently, and all of a sudden, it changes position. Um, all right, so we're going into the hangar bay. The last guys are going to be right in here. Just watch. There's going to be probably four of them right here. <laughs> and they'll be like right on top of each other. Okay. <clears throat> and this is a really good opportunity. You can drag these. I'm not going to do it, but you can drag these guys onto your own show. Oh, gosh. Okay, he's friendly. You can drag these guys, like if you want a nice set of white armor like this, oh gosh, drag them onto the ship, onto your ship, or, you know, you can even go, well, let's see, we can loot him. Let's, oh, let's see how much money we, we earn. And 45,000. Now, if you stop the data transfer, you'll actually get 50,000. All right, so we're going to say loot, and I can just drag one of these guys over. Um, we can drag... No, that's too large. Um, can I drag that over there and then use these shoulder pads? I like the white color better. I like the color. Okay, I guess I can drop these. Hello. Uh, there we go. Boom. A little bit different. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I can put the can put that in there. I can't put all this extra stuff in there though. And the legs I have are definitely better. All right. Um. So that was the boarding action in progress. Um, and now you know you can walk around the 890 jump. There's a few bugs here. You can see like the doors here are black, and they're kind of transparent. That's a bug. Um, hopefully that'll be remedied in 317, but we won't know until we get there. Lots of new stuff coming in 317. Here's the battle bridge. Heading back, here's the uh, cargo bay area again. But yeah, you can actually, if you've got a tractor beam tool, which I'm not exactly sure why I don't have one. Usually I keep one of those with me, but for whatever reason I... Don't have one right now. Um, you can tractor these guys onto your ship. Even if it's your little Aurora, you can squeeze one or two guys in there. Fly back to a, a space station. Uh, oh, we got to go this way. You can fly back to a space station and then just offload any of that armor and stuff into onto your different or onto your local inventory there. So you'll have tons of armor. I mean, gosh, you, there's 20 guys here. You could have 20 different armor sets in your inventory. Um, let's head over here. Ah, enter ship. Enter the pilot seat. And let's see, let's go, first of all, we're going to go back to Mercenary. And we've got, like, the illegal monitors, but I'm going to fly, I'm going to fly all the way down here to Arc Corp. And I'm going to see if we can get another one of these missions to pop up. And we might just be able to do it. And we've got the we've got the funky microtech bug for some reason. The screen looks frozen when you're in. Um, yep, there's the there's a couple of the moons. Now I wonder if I I'm gonna try to pop out here. And we're going to set another course. Maybe get around that. So at least it doesn't look that boring 
And... Nope. We're still going to get the same frozen screen. Um, it's, uh, my game only does this when I jump away from Microtech. A lot of people think that their game is frozen or, if it, or if it's a bug, but um, obviously it's something that's kind of annoying. But you are actually moving. If we go into the cock or yeah, into our cockpit here, we can actually see that yes, we are moving away from Microtech. So I am just going to. Well, I'm not going to do the time lapse like I normally do. We're just going to come back. Uh, right when we jump out at Arc Corp. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are coming up to Arc Corp. This is where Area 18 is located. I'm going to make sure I take my cruise mode off and we're going to open up. Actually, I could have hit F1. Uh, we're going to open up the Mercenary tab here and look, there is another boarding action in progress. So we're going to take that mission um, and here we go. It's on the other side of the moon so i'm gonna have to look for the jump point or the the different uh orbital markers there's one right there jumping out to the orbit orbital markers orbital orbital <laughs> it'll make it a lot easier to get around the planet so there's orbital marker one that's actually the north pole And I hope this is going to be right on the cusp of light and dark. It's going to kind of suck a little bit if it's all in the dark. And we got, it looks like we've got a little bit of light there. All right, so I'm going to turn my quantum drive off. We're going to hit C, make sure our gimbals are back on and our guns are working here. Okay, we're going to have another guy right there. And again, these are usually cutlass blacks. At least in 316, they typically are. <clears throat> why are they not... Why is it not showing my distance? That's weird. Okay, I am going to just start lighting him up. He's already on me. Did he even have shields up? Or did I just completely... Oh gosh. H, H... Two missiles, so I hit hit the H key twice to get rid of those missiles. Okay, again, we're gonna try to stay under his belly here. Okay, there's one down. We've got one more to go. And yeah, we've got these size one attritions that are just wrecking this guy's shields. Come on, a little bit faster. And again, be sure to hit your C key to take yourself out of cruise mode. If you're on cr in cruise mode when you fight, um, <laughs> just makes it a lot easier to kind of, you know, WASD yourself with keyboard controls around the enemy ship. Ah. Come on, take him out. I think one more full volley is going to be... Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's find this 890 jump here. And again, we've got this Origin 300i up here for some strange reason. Ah. Alright, let's throttle back a little ways. Again, align yourself 
forward. That way your ship's not going to rotate or anything like that. Make sure you're completely stopped before you get out. Whee! And actually, I'm going to turn back around. I'm going to close my door because I don't want somebody else to come up and steal my ship. Okay, we need to get in here. Oh gosh. Okay, he's a bad guy right there. Shoot him in the back. And I'm just clearing these two. All right, here we go, here we go. So all we have to do is just go in, click abort, Data transfer will be canceled. Abort. It's going to abort that transfer. And boom. Objective complete. Halt data transmission. And we are good to go. So now we can just kind of take our, take our time. Slowly take out the rest of these guys. However quickly we want. Um, usually there's way more guys up here. I'm kind of concerned that there's not. I've not seen them go back in there before. They could be up on the bridge. They could be in the bar area. Okay. <laughs> They're running up from downstairs somewhere. From where exactly? Oh gosh. Let's go ahead and call the elevator up here. Got a dead guy, dead crew member over there. Oh, another another guy over there. Come on, drop. Okay, that's a little bit too dramatic for my liking. <laughs> Okay, whenever you come back out, make absolutely sure you check your... You know, check your six. Where are these guys coming in from? It's almost like they're coming in from the outside. Okay, we're gonna head down the ladder here. Ah. Uh. Okay, that was weird. Okay, eight more guys. Okay, so we've got him there. Let's check this side. Okay, six more guys. Okay, we got a guy. Oh no! Oh no, I got a I killed one of the crew members and I oh no. 
sorry. And I'm dead. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. I just lost all my armor, all my armor. <laughs> what if I can, uh, oh no, I'm gonna be all the way back. Oh no, I'm in Clesher. <gasps> no. <laughs> well, we're in jail now. Or maybe? Oh yeah, we are definitely in jail. Oh brother, this is not the way. We're gonna enroll in this. And I'm gonna go downstairs, oh gosh. Uh, we can actually, woo, EVA right over here um, to the center area and actually see how long our prison, uh, yeah, an hour and 22 minutes, which is gonna be way longer than this episode. Um, if you guys have, what? It's this dude. Wow. Okay. Well, that guy's gonna watch some anime. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but very, very weird. And I'm probably gonna get a, cry a copyright strike for it. So. Um, I am going to call the episode right here. Thank you all so much for, for joining me for another episode of Star Citizen. Hopefully now you understand uh, how to do the, the 890 jump boarding missions. But don't be like me. Don't shoot one of the friendly guys in the back. Um, I would have swore he was an enemy. But those things happen. But, um, yeah, if you found the video informative, please leave a like. Um... Leave comments if you have any questions. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Last but not least, if you're brand new to Star Citizen and you'd like to get started, use my referral code. It's down in the video description. And uh, when you create your, your account and purchase your game package, when you get in-game, you'll have an extra 5,000 Alpha UEC. That's like the in-game credits, in-game money. Um, so, yeah, and it... You know, if I can help you out by using, you know, you you using the code, then by all means, uh, please uh, give that a shot. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. I'm Bradham73. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.